Hey there guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be taking a look at cleaning telescope optics and in this case you can see I've got a Newtonian mirror in front of me right here. This is from my Skywatcher Quattro 8 inch. It's a reasonable sized piece of glass and we're going to split it up into two and approach this two different ways. So we're going to go with kind of what would be a little bit old school to me um, which is clean water and then a second vessel with some clean water and a single drop of dish soap. In it, I'm going to attempt to clean one side with that. And the opposite side, we're going to use some completely brand new and fresh Bada Optical Wonder Fluid. Now, uh, I do like this stuff and I do think it works. And I've, you know, I've used plenty of that in the past. Um, so I think that's probably going to take the win. But as you know, as far as comparisons go, I thought, why not do this? I, I'm due to clean this mirror. As it is, I needed a willing test subject. And as you can see, it is pretty dirty. So uh, why not go ahead and do a little bit of on-camera cleaning? Now, if we, like before we even start anything at all, touching the mirror, I want to talk about a few, you know, preparation points that you really want to observe when doing anything like this. So first things first, you really don't want to be disturbed if at all you can help it. Other than that, though, you really want to make sure your hands, in particular the pads of your fingers, are as clean as can possibly be just done that really with dish soap something a little bit more aggressive than normal hand cleaners you don't really want to leave oils on your hands for this kind of thing other than that i have got myself everything i'm going to need literally within hands reach so you can see i've got my vessels there with the liquids i've got the optical wonder for the opposite side right here i've got the maintenance of optics manual that came with this thing which is actually really quite good it's got a lot of good points inside so if you don't already know about this bad optical fluid um you may wish to give it a go depending on how this uh, test goes um i've got a completely fresh and reasonable quality toilet roll if you add kleenex then uh, go with those they're probably a bit higher quality and finally a dust bulb um one little thing you want to make sure of just check that your nozzle for the dust bulb is fully inserted the last thing you want is to go you know puff and then this rockets out and go and goes and lands on your mirror so uh, i think the first step really should be a general inspection of the mirror with a reasonably high powered torch just to look for anything that could cause us issues so anything obvious like flaked paint um shavings of metal swarf from inside of the tube all these things are shouldn't be there but you know they realistically could be so have a little look before you do any cleaning whatsoever anything you can see that's removable with a dust bulb try to blow it off and away really as you can see it's pretty successful so yeah anything that can possibly be removed without physically touching it you want to do do that some of these pieces are pretty well stuck there are little pieces of spider web some of the smaller flecks of paint don't really want to move and i think that's largely about it everything else seems to be pretty well stuck the next step of inspection now now we've cleared off any more further debris just make sure there's nothing obviously super reflective you know like i said metal swarf in particular would be what i'd be most worried about especially with these cheaper newtonians it is a possibility um you can see around where the rubber uh touches these the, the mounting points for um the primary mirror restraints if you like there's been a small amount of off gassing what it looks like that kind of blued smoky haze uh right there interesting to see should come straight off with bada optical wonder but I do wonder how dish soap is going to deal with it, whether it needs something a little more seeking. So uh, let's split this mirror now, straight down the middle, and I'm going to first go ahead and clean this, for me, the left-hand side, uh, right here, with water and dish soap. So I'm going to take the fresh roll, and of course, I'm going to discard the first piece, just in case there's anything on that. This is going to look like quite a wasteful procedure, but realistically it has to be to give you the best chance of cleaning this mirror uh, without damage so i'm gonna take a few pieces off and i'm just gonna with the end of this soak some up and i think i'll do like i said the left hand side 
just going to touch this down and see if I can't lift anything off. So I'm not moving this at all. So that's probably about as far as I want to go with this piece. So I'll discard that. What we're doing here is a two part thing. We're lifting off anything that will immediately come straight off. And we're imparting some of that uh, very mild cleaning solution onto the mirror. So just a few dabs. I mean, you could just do one dab at a time if you wanted. But as I've uh, tried to take care and look at this thing, I don't think I'll be moving anything much around on it right now. So get that just. I'm, I'm not being rough with this, by the way. I am literally just, just touching. So I'll probably get that last little bit now. Okay. And with that. I'm probably going to call that half of the mirror nicely soaked. There are some very small flecks that have been lifting off, even with that last few strokes, you know what I mean? All right, so this is set on the mirror for just a moment or two. And now before it starts to dry, I'm going to start taking off single sheets, just folding them up a little bit. And with the very minimum of pressure just kind of the weight of the bend of paper if you like and start making small outwards pulls with this so we're lifting off that remnant liquid now So a nice steady drag, no pressure. I think that's the key at this point. We're still trying to remove things that are potentially embedded onto the surface of the mirror. Okay, so that's finished. And as you can see now, there's a little bit of residue from that kind of dish soap. So now I'm gonna to start to transfer some clean water onto this thing. A little bit of an inspection and it looks like there is no maybe a little bit of uh, fluff from these is they're not you know obviously lint free there is seems to be to me nothing left on there that looks very damaging so i'm just gonna pat and dab some clean water onto this thing now Almost nothing at all has been lifted right there. I don't know if the camera is going to be able to uh, focus for you. You can see there's one tiny little piece right there that came up right next to my thumb. But uh, yeah, mostly I think we're golden. So I'm going to continue on with these steps. So I'm going to do one more pass of passing fresh water onto the surface. So nothing's really coming off with that now it's all just kind of staying uh nice and clean so next up uh it looks like we are clear to start removing some of this liquid um so i'm going to do this with a bit of a wider swab now i'm going to make just one large first pass to get rid of most of that liquid in one the stuff that was standing on the surface. And now while exercising quite a bit of caution, I'm just going to apply truly the minimum of pressure and start to do sweeps outwards once again. Again, not using much pressure, but certainly more than the earliest passes. With a very small um, piece of residue, pollen or something like that that was still clearly left on the mirror. 
Not going to worry about that right now. And I think I'm going to call that side clean. So there's a big difference, of course, at this point. It's still not completely spotless, and I would urge you not to really worry about going after completely spotless. Um, of course, it's doable, but do you need to? And now I think we're going to start with the Bada Wonder Fluid on the right-hand side. Hopefully you can see, though, there's a huge difference right there. That's more than clean enough for another, you know, 18 months or something for me. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to try now on the right-hand side with the Bada Wonder Fluid, and we'll see how that goes on. All right, so we've got our uh, fluid out of the bag now, and it is ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead, not worry too much about over mist on this other side. I'll probably give it another small clean uh, over once i'm done it just mean masking so straight away as you can see this is a better method of transferring liquid to the surface so you know more points to the barter now it's been on a few moments ideally you'd leave it on longer than this but i do want to start to try and remove any of the uh, the very easiest surface stuff that's on there so with no pressure i'm holding this right at the back and i'm intending to just sweep if we could get it in contact nicely and oh yeah these first passes i'll try and uh, focus the camera for you a moment so this is the first pass that we're going to make of course I think one of the key things with this is just don't rush so again you know no pressure and single sweeps only while the mirror is very dirty like this when it's um mostly clean i think realistically speaking you can get a tiny bit braver with it but when it's in a you know it's earliest dirty stages don't risk it. I can see. Don't know if you'll be able to make this out on camera, but I'll try. But right there, there are some very small metal shavings. I can see them reflecting the uh, the light above me. So this is the kind of thing you really, really want to be careful about. Of course, um, last thing you want to do is drag that across your relatively soft. Um, mirror surface so again it just it pays to be gentle even though this might be the most you know boring thing ever to watch let's go for round two uh, it does pay to be patient and as gentle as you possibly can especially in these earliest stages Oh, just around this side now in one sweep that's more just paint the insides of these uh, skywatch reflectors are painted in a uh, a not very black black paint and uh, <laughs> it's not great it's kind of flaky you know what i mean uh, i don't know why they've chose to use such a thing but already you know i think we, we are going to need one more pass on this but already i think it looks potentially um better than just the the water solution yeah that is notably even better than over here so there's something to be said for the fluid can you see a difference i don't know hopefully you can see that on camera but the whole thing looks better than that left hand side now so the left hand side is good and i would be happy with that but the the optical fluid i think is clearly the winner so what i'm going to do now at this point that we have you know determined it is worth using the right tool for the job i'm going to go ahead spritz the whole mirror in earnest and go ahead and finish with one final clean and uh, we'll catch up at the end then all right then guys so uh there we have it i've gone over the whole mirror 
with the optical wonder and just a, a minor spritz later and that honestly looks as good as new i'll apply some high power to it and hopefully you can see right there even under strong light directly on it you know nothing's showing up it's uh that is clean that is one clean mirror uh, i didn't go you know crazy even really trying to get rid of every single spot it kind of just lifted off i uh, i let the optical one to do its job for that final spritz and just have a moment to sit uh, and this you know this thing looks really rather nice now hopefully i can tilt this towards the uh, camera and you can maybe see that's super duper clean but uh yeah so for me having tested these two as best as i could now side by side um the water and dish soap and clean water afterwards approach it's good it works don't get me wrong it's a bit of a pain to apply without a spritzer that kind of thing but the cleaning fluid um honestly just clearly dislodges more dirt uh, i mean it says it does and i don't think it's a lie it seems to get rid of everything and does a really really nice job um so get yourself some bar fluid i think is where, <laughs> where i'm at with this didn't bother using the cloth um probably could have done but the mirror was in such a state to start with that i didn't want to uh, you know risk multiple passes with a cloth i think a cloth is really for the very final final stage I'd, I'd touch it with the cloth now um but before that nah definitely use some kleenex or you know decent quality tissue or something like that but yeah for me it's clear winner optical wonder um good stuff go ahead and uh, and get some of that so thanks as always for watching thank you for your support hopefully this one hasn't made you consider uh your life choices too much for clicking on this video uh, i just thought it might be interesting so yeah look after yourselves guys i'll see you in the next one and clear skies